So, yo, let me ask you a question. You know what I'm saying? Females. So, y'all hoes be eating ass now? Like, for real? What? Come eat me up. No, just kidding. <laughs> but anyway, I wanted to tell y'all two stories. I'm trying to make this video short because it, I've... I be trying to give, you know how you want to give details so people understand the whole story, so you kind of got to combine the shit together. But the first story is this. A few days ago, I went to the Teddy Campbell concert. You know what I'm saying? I saw a lot of great artists, blah, 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 blah. I was introduced to this couple from a couple of friends that I, uh, of a church that I used to go to. And basically, it was red flags going off about this couple from the get-go. Basically, this is a pretty light-skinned boy that the average girl would be attracted to. You understand what I'm saying? And then it was his fiance come to find out that was dark skin. She was short and, you know, she was chubby. But she was very sweet girl. I'm not trying to take nothing away from her because, you know, she was what she was. And I was just clearly attract. But the thing that disturbed me the most about this couple is that, to me, because I guess I've been on both spectrums, to me, this is a gay dude. And I think anybody looking at him, be around him, would pick up on that. And I have a sharp spirit of discernment, and I was just disturbed. I was just perturbed about this whole situation. I'm like, this is a straight man calling this girl his fiance when he's infeminate. And I, I was really, because I asked him, you know, we was talking. He was like, oh, what you do? How long you been out in L.A.? Oh, the whole night, y'all. So I'm like, I've been out here for a year. I do music. I sing it, blah, 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 blah. And he told me he was dancing. He had the body of a dancer. Like, he, he was built, like, almost like, a, I guess, like an athlete. Uh, and, you know, he's like a pretty boy, you know, and he just seemed like a gay dude to me. He was, he just had, he was feminine. So, I can tell from the way that girl, you know how when your mom or your grandma, they don't even have to give you a look like, you better sit your ass down before you get beat. They're just looking at you. And you know you better sit your ass down because you finna get the meat, the, 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 you finna get your ass beat in a second. You know what I'm saying? That's how she was looking at him because this dude had his phone and he was real close to that shit. And she was looking at him like, I don't know. But in my spirit, I almost wanted to tell him, nigga, before you marry this girl, you need to be sure. Karen Clark, she got the song saying, be sure talking about marriage. You don't want to fuck up somebody's life if you know you're not ready. And as far as I'm concerned, it's a gay dude. And I'm thinking, like, I'm, because, you know, I've been here before. And I'm like, sometimes, if you have, see, if, you, if, you, if you're not gay, or if you've never had those struggles, really, it might be, this part of the video might be hard for you to understand. But if you have never been in those shoes, you really won't really understand where I'm coming from when I say this. But in society's world, you're supposed to marry a woman. You're supposed to have kids. You're supposed to be in the church the whole nine yards. You know what I'm saying? So it's almost like you will almost go against your feelings if you are a gay man because you want to do what society tells you to do. You go. You you have to feel. You feel the need to do what everybody else expects you to do. You understand what I'm saying? And that can go across the board. But you, uh, I'm not gonna even get into that because that's a whole other video. But. It, it, she was looking at him like, what the fuck am I doing with this nigga? Like, this nigga is not into me. And at the end, see, I got so many mixed signals. Like, I have seen people that's physically, like, it's just like Vincent Tamar. It's like, she loves this dude as, I mean, he's one of, you know, because I've seen a lot of big dudes and big girls. And, you know, who are very bomb as fuck and attractive. But even if Vince lost weight... He's still not an attractive man to me, like, and that's not really a good gay thing to say, but I mean, shit, it is what it is, like, he just, ugh, I, I don't even like the way the dude talk, like, he's, he's like a baby, did you see this nigga in the episode when he was sleeping in a doctor's, I was like, what kind of grown man just fall asleep just like that, like, and I said, oh, you okay, like, oh, uh, nigga, get the fuck out of here, like, this is a bad bitch. This bitch can have any man or woman she won't. You know what I'm saying? And let's say love and war is bomb diggity. So, <clears throat> and I guess because my baby mama know I've been with dudes before. I don't know. It's just, I don't know. This That just disturbed me. That disturbed me. And the second situation is this. Uh, I talked to a gay, why should I describe him as gay? But I talked, he's not really a homie either. I talked, let's say I just talked to a random dude today. Um, about my way about the city, and you know, uh, see, I had come back because I was trying to think how I'm gonna tell y'all a second part of the story. Open relationships, 
this dude, he's not really my homie. He, I, he's not really my homie. But anyway, he was on Uvu on his phone with this dude I had encountered a while ago. He on all, all these websites. I didn't even know the dude had a partner. You know what I'm saying? And trying to get at me. First of all, I don't, I don't even too much give a fuck about all that shit. It's like, if you're in a relationship, why are you trying to get at other people, other bitches or other niggas? Like, what that shit about? And what is wrong with people? It's 2013, but who the fuck? I don't understand. What's the purpose of having an open relationship, baby? I don't get it. What's the point? A relationship is supposed to be between two parties that come together that want to build that want to build something for one. And, you know, you have to compliment each other. It's just, if God ordained it, that's the easiest way I can put it in this video. I'm not going to too much preach to you, preach to y'all in this particular video. But I'm not feeling a third party. You understand what I'm saying? It's already enough temptation with two parties. Who needs another third party, fourth party, knowing what's going on in your house? If you give your body away to somebody else, that is more than enough. You understand what I'm saying? It's all about fucking. If you want to fuck, then you need not to be in a relationship. Point blank. That's the way I feel. That's what's about. Because you don't need an open relationship to have friends, do you? No. So it's about fucking, right? So that means you can fuck who you want to fuck and not feel guilty about it. That's the only way I can look at it. And back to the story is, dude was trying to get at me, you know what I'm saying, not, I mean, I, I don't, I, is that I, I don't know if he, I don't really know what he thought about me, but it really don't too much make a difference, because this was, it just was not going to happen, point blank, period, you know what I'm saying, <laughs> Chelsea, but uh, <laughs> it just wasn't going to happen, and so I'm like, that should go to tell you, this is from way back then, but that just should go to tell you. When you're in an open relationship, your business is going to be out there. And I can give y'all some examples, but I really don't too much feel like going there today. You understand what I'm saying? Don't do it to yourself. Don't do it. Don't do it. If you want to mm -hmm. fuck other people, then don't be in a relationship. Open relationship, you are asking for it. What is it, Zay? It is getting your ass killed. Putting your life on the line. Trusting some. Should I go there, Zay? Because these bitches act like they don't. I mean, they act like they don't. They don't understand where you're coming from, man. They act like you don't understand. Open relationship. Let me give you an example. I don't know if y'all ready for this, but I'm gonna tell y'all anyway. All right. I might regret saying this for the rest of my life, but I'm gonna go ahead and tell you. It's just like this. I'll speak figuratively. <laughs> All right. All right. Back in the day. Back in the day when I was gay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so this dude told me at the last minute, I tried to get at this dude for a while, right? And long story short, he picked me up from the train station, and he told me when we got to his door that he had a boyfriend. And I'm like, it's like, it was like, Chris said, Michelle, and like, bitch, I had a fucking epiphany. Like, it all made sense. Then I was like, oh, that's why you was telling me I couldn't come that this time, I couldn't come on this day, because you had a nigga at home. Come down the fuck. First of all, we come in the house. You know, that's my homie. So I let's say he my homie. That's my boy, right? His boyfriend in the living room with some other nigga. They kicking it. You know what I'm saying? We watching Sunday Best. We, we literally just watching Sunday Best. You know, talking shit, eating, drinking, doing whatever. And the bra. So, you know, had a little drink note. Three out of the four parties went upstairs to get shit popping, you know what I'm saying? And his boyfriend was not included, so that's what he was upstairs. But anyway, somebody uh, was having sex. With the condom on, which is not the problem. When the boyfriend came upstairs, because he knew what was going on, but he just wasn't, I guess he didn't feel like participating. So, uh, somebody decided to take the condom off after the boyfriend leave. Perfect example right there. You have a boyfriend, dude. Why the fuck you trying to fuck without a condom? You already in the house. You don't have to bring it to the house, bitch, because you are... That's somebody, supposed to somebody out of those three parties had something. 
you give that shit to your boyfriend. You know what I'm saying? It's hard, you, it's hard enough trusting people as it is. You gonna open yourself up to fucking other parties in an open relationship? Seriously? It's pointless and it's dangerous. Don't do it to yourself. How can you fuck other people without getting feelings attached? Like, I don't too much understand. I had my whole days, but goddamn, like, I'm not trying to get nobody involved in an open relationship. Like, for two parties to agree to have an open relationship? No, bitch, get the fuck out of here. Like, you was whack as fuck. I don't care if you're a nigga, female, female, lesbian, straight, gay. I don't give a fuck about all that. That shit is whack. Don't do it. You ask him for it. Kill yourself. Um, That's all I want to say. Don't shoot him started. I didn't mean it for that to be long, y'all. Please don't judge me. I, I just, sometimes you just got to keep it real. You just have to keep it real. You got to keep it real. All right. Thank you so much, guys, for watching my videos. I love y'all. And share my shit, dog. Like, share my shit. Subscribe to my page. You know what I'm saying? And me on Facebook. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Twitter.com slash ATW Driven. All the way driven, baby. I got a theme song coming now. You understand what I'm saying? Y'all check for that. I'm just trying to do the video whatnot. Y'all feel me, dog? Shout out to my girl, Chelsea Crenshaw. You know what I'm talking about? From the FLA, baby. One time for Miami, dog. You feel me? Let me see y'all trying to make it on y'all. <laughs> Alright, anyway. Love y'all. Peace. Be easy. Be all the way driven.